said, oh, you know, we didn't look for the snowberry clear wing, ah. which is which is a sphinx moth. And yes. it's on coral coral honeysuckle. Our coral honeysuckle's over here in the corner. So so I went and I looked, and there it is. Let's see. Point him out. Oh, there he is. Okay. There Very he is. well so, disguised. Yeah, so it's a it's a beautiful sphinx moth that eats the native honeysuckle. And you get the beautiful flowers, which hummingbirds love. We get the beautiful flowers, right? And um, berries for birds. And berries for birds. Fantastic. We, we get everything. This this plant's becoming a little shaded, so we've actually planted some more along the uh, the garden fence. Okay. Lanicera sempervirens, also known as Carl honeysuckle or trumpet honeysuckle, is one of about 12 native honeysuckle species in the U.S. It's a twining vine which will grow on a support or on the ground hardy in zones four to nine, and it flowers best in full sun, although it will grow in part sun as well. The plant prefers moist soil and will grow in average soil. It's native from Connecticut to Ohio and Oklahoma, and then south to Alabama and Florida. This twining vine will grow anywhere from 15 to 20 feet long, if it's happy, with a spread up to eight feet. The leaves will be evergreen in the south, semi-evergreen in some other parts of the country and fully deciduous further north. It's one of our longest blooming native plants and will often bloom from spring through late fall. The blossoms are orangey reddish trumpet-like blossoms with yellow throats. Some cultivars have yellow flowers. The flowers, particularly the reddish ones, are magnets for hummingbirds and also attract bees and butterflies. This plant is a host for the snowberry clearing moth caterpillar, a type of sphinx moth. It's also a host for the spring azure butterfly caterpillar. If pollinated, trumpet honeysuckle will produce red berries which ripen in the early fall and are relished by many birds. This is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial. Thanks for watching. For more useful gardening tips to improve our environment, please visit us at www.ecobeneficial.com.